Hello, I'm Wendy and this is Summer Bay Studio. In today's video, I get to show you something that I've been working on for some time. It is an altered book journal and I've finally finished it. It's actually almost uh, an experimental journal or an idea journal, an idea book, because I tried different things on every page and I'm just thrilled with how it turned out. I'm going to flip through it and show you the different aspects of it and I hope you like it. If you stay till the end, you can see it all. So this is the journal and what I've done here is because I, I think I should have started with a fatter book with a, a bigger spine because I ended up putting so many things in it that it's kind of like huge. But um, I decided to tie this around it. And this is just a piece of rayon that I washed and I'm, I've considered uh, dyeing it or painting it, but I think the white is really pretty. And because these are cool colors with the silver and the blue and everything, I think the white looks really nice. I'll just open this up and it isn't attached, it just ties around. And when I started, I, I recovered the whole book with this paper, which I think is just beautiful. And then this title is from my flower and twig embellishments, which is available on my website. And then uh, inside, I also did the inside back covers, front and back covers. And this is a watercolor that I did. It's This is actually a print of the watercolor that I did. I thought it would be a nice idea to have a door as the start of the book so that it's just kind of like opening into a different world. And on our first page, I, I, I chose a theme of home and I've added some little, these are watercolors with a little pen and ink. And there's no place like home. This is one of my little watercolors as well. And I, I put this in and then I added this with a little stamp of the cute house. So there's a place to write here and then you can flip it up and find these flowers plus there's some journaling spaces here and if you wanted to you could probably turn this around and use it to write on as well so it's kind of a secret spot. On this page I've used uh, a postcard like a, a vintage postcard and this fancy cards. Cards etc. Fancy cards for card albums, newest designs, da 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 da. That's an, also a vintage piece. And then I made this pocket using paper and some of my flower and twig embellishments and I cut it with scallop scissors. And then these little pieces here, the tags, can be uh, also used for journaling um, all sides. And then they just tuck in here. And I've also added a couple of other things. This says, take time to see beauty everywhere and you can create beauty anywhere, which was kind of my goal with the book. I wanted it to be really pretty. And then picking up the blues here and sort of the home theme. Um, this is one of my little watercolors as well, a little print. So you can write on the back of that as well. And then this page set is has actually been one of my most popular videos it's basically just an, uh, like more of an art journal page. And I did these watercolors on the, on the book page. And the book page is beautiful soft paper. And it just performed so nicely. And then on this page, I had this piece of newsprint that I used. Oh, I was trying watercolors on this fabric, which is the same fabric as this, um, before Christmas. And I had this underneath, so this the sparkly paint went through and stained the paper or you know painted the paper and I thought it was just so beautiful that I covered the writing like the book page with it and then added these this is my art as well and then just some pieces that are are vintage and kind of went with and then this is just a little piece of tissue paper with a house on it again and I picked up the blues here to go with all these blues so that the color theme kind of went together on this page, obviously, I went with pinks. And over here, we've got a little vintage um, label and then a, a little, it's a little pocket. And this is for writing on. And I just made a short little rickrack tag, uh, pull tag on it. 
And then this one is actually kind of a clever little, little envelope that comes apart like this. And then it, it actually slots back in together. And on this page, I've got another, I guess it's a vintage letter or something and another tag that you can write on. And I've, I've layered pinks, and this is um, a butterfly that is my artwork, and so is this, and so is this, and so is this. So I've put lots of my own artwork all through, and a lot of these things are now available in my shop. Some are not yet, I'm still working on that. This one's a little bit tricky to get back together. There we go. Now, on this overleaf, I went with greens on this page. I love this little piece here. It's just a little piece of uh, fabric trim. And then um, again, my artwork and a stamp with a bird. And a, this is, I made it into a pocket. So I put another little stamp here with the bird and just a few vintage pieces and some music and some scrapbook paper. And then on the back, it's just um, a place to write plus a little label there, and it says, actually, I can. It comes from a little pad of paper that I have. On the right-hand side, I've got these lovely ladies. I love this gorgeous velvet dress. And, and this is basically a journaling page. I left room for writing along here. There's a little bit of room in there too, if you wanted. And I put words here, just to hint, this is where you write your words. On this page, I covered, oh, this page didn't have any print on it. It was a chapter blank, a blank chapter dividing page. So I used a, a brown ink pad and just put some sort of random music on it and this scroll uh, corner on it. And then this came from, um, I found it online somewhere, but I thought it was so, so gorgeous. And then just another little label with vintage handwriting on it. And this is a seal. I got a, a seal sealing wax kit for my birthday early this, earlier this year, and um, I made that, and I thought it, it tied in nicely with the greens here, sort of the blue-green, and it also has a bit of brown in it, so it kind of goes with this. And then the, the piece that tucks into it is this one with this um, vintage writing and whatnot. And then on the back, it's just plain paper, but I put a little strip of of the book paper here and this little scroll corner again and that just tucks in there so there's lots of space on it for you to journal. Now over here I put a nice big pocket here with a vintage looks like a check I think but with with roses on it I, I imagine those were added some other time but um, and this little red label which I trimmed around the edge with um, scalloping scissors and I wanted to use this red to tie in with these colors and then the blue kind of goes with with all of these things and in the pocket I put I made a little envelope with a book page from the book put a little label here to tuck the flap into and then inside it I've got a couple of little surprises. So this is one from my from my store and this is a, a vintage piece that I found somewhere and you can write on both of them and those just pop right in this little envelope which is this lovely soft paper and then this tucks in there so that tucks right in there and then this is one that I, I did in one of my other videos showing how to make all these. I made three of these out of, this is a, made from a coin envelope. So I used vellum here. Um, I covered with some vintage paper and a fake postage stamp and another one here and another label. And then just cut this little divot there that you can use to, to pull out the card. And then inside, this is made from a gift card, a set of gift cards that I used to sell, actually. I, I used to have a wholesale business that I sold to uh, paper goods to stores all over, all over the world, actually. And, um, and this is just leftover stock. 
So I put it on the front here and then added this little blue label because it picks up the blues here. And then a little piece of, of the book pages again and put a stamp here with some tiny writing on it. And on the back there's room to write and it even have, has lines and then just a couple of little embellishments there. So this goes into this pocket like that and then it goes into this pocket with this other envelope. And then over here I have another piece which is like a, a antique postcard and this is from my French vintage papers. So this is available on my store as well. And then on the back I I put it, um, well I made it so that it's, you can write on it here and just put a little brown label on it there to just to dress it up a little bit. And I put the, the divot here off center so that I wouldn't cut into this. And this actually, the butterfly um, has been cut around, so, which I think is kind of a nice touch. And this is an, a vintage postcard as well. So such pretty stuff and so much to look at. And this one was a really fun one I did. It, these are actually original watercolors. They're not prints. So I found this paper online somewhere and I covered the pages and then I made this little clothesline and I, I drew and painted these little pieces to hang on the clothesline. So if you wanted to, you can just flip this over and write what you want on the back or you could paint it if you wanted to. And they're, they're all like that so you could flip it this way or this way. And then I just decorated with, with some butterflies that I found. Over here I've got a yellow theme. First I, this is another one of those chapter div dividers where there was nothing on the page. So I painted this, these yellow stripes with watercolor and then I created the envelope and put the rose on it so that the flap would tuck in. I added the bee so that it ties in with the yellow theme and I found the butterfly with some yellow on it as well. And inside here there's a card this is also from stock I, I used to have with through my business, my wholesale business, and it just says breathe. And then I put this on the front, which is from my flower and twig embellishments, because it has some yellow in it. And it's it was actually called a Serenity Collection. So this just, if I, get, if I do this right, it tucks in easily here. And then the flap tucks under here. And on this page, this is a whole page from Edith Holden's book, The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. And I cut it here so that this rosebud would show because I wanted to pull through the yellows. And then on this side, it's a journaling page and it's got this beautiful vintage rose uh, image. And over here, it's actually from a birthday book. So it's got dates, but every one has a little poem or a little description of what she was doing and what she observed. Like here, third day of bright sunshine. I found another field of wild daffodils today. You know, it's just so charming. And this page, I decided I just, I painted over it. I used acrylic paint and I painted over everything. And I wanted a sea theme, which I think I achieved. Uh, I used one of my my little labels here that is from my store. I found this gull in a bird book and then this was from I forget where but I, I put this little thing in it so this is for writing in. You can put your secrets in there and then I just added this little shell to sort of pull together the theme and over here this is actually a see-through sticker but it looks like you can hardly tell and then I just added these from a set that I had and um, and I cut this out of just some scrapbooking paper and then this the set of ephemera that I had also had this map and I just just um, did the edges distressed the edges with this little block uh, front and back but here you can write on the back so that's that page and this one is another one of these chapter pages that had nothing on it, which is I love because it gives you, give, gave me a chance to do some painting. And this is just a watercolor of asters. 
And, and then I added some glitter because I like glitter and I thought it would be fun to do that. You see some of it has, has moved, but that's okay. Glitter does that, as we all know. And over here, I, this first I, what I did was I covered this page, which you can still see the printing of the book page, but I covered it with this piece that was printed on vellum. I made the master board in a different video with antique uh, French writing paper and music and different things like that. And that way I can use it for all kinds of things, which is so handy. So I just covered it and I, I didn't glue it down. I just glued it at the very edges so that it still has a bit of looseness in there and a bit of crackle, which I really like. And then I put this ribbon across here so that I could tuck this in. And this is a little notebook with several pages. So you could use that for all kinds of things. And I love this gingham check paper. This is from my French vintage papers as well. And the, the pinks really worked here. So I made it into a pocket, put this little um, label in it. And there's a place that you can write as well. And then I found this in in another book. It was uh, an, a really, really old book of fairy tales. So this just slides in here like this. And it's held together with these little grommets or I keep forgetting what this is called. Anyway, um, I'll show you the back. It's just these little things just poked holes with an awl and put them in there and it all holds together. And I love that it's just, and, and there came a sound of music. It's just so pretty. This is my bird page layout. And I found these antique um, prints of birds and this beautiful paper with this feather. And then I found these, uh, actually a whole envelope of them at the dollar store with the feathers on them. So I bought those. And I put this uh, pocket in here first. Well, first I put I put vellum down. Uh, I printed on vellum, and the background was actually this sort of brownish color. So I didn't stain this. It was actually printed with that. And then I added a little bit of paper up here because it, when I tore it, it didn't quite fit. So I kind of covered it up with that. But I think it really adds to it. And then I made this little book, put this little bird sticker on it, I think that's a wren, and made a little notebook out of it as well. And so this is just has holes and I tied it with this um, hemp string. And that just pops in there like that. And then over on this side, I made a pocket out of two, out of the page and the, and the paper that I put on it. So I just glued it around here. and. So you could write on this if you wanted to. I just added the same kind of paper as here, put a little bird sticker on it that I had from a set that I got. Um, this is a scrapbooking paper. And then I, on the back, I put a piece of lined paper and another feather. So there's a place to do some writing there if you want to journal. Just tuck that back in there. On this page, I, I wanted to do some more watercolor and I didn't do these in order. I just like had to remove pages and I had to go, okay, how am I going to make this all fit? And you know, I would do a few near the front and then it started to look like, oh dear, I'm, this isn't going to work out unless I move towards the back and start tearing out pages. And then I started just working at them, you know, however I wanted to. So I did a poppy here in this peach color and this is watercolor and I love the, this pale, butterfly which is only attached in the middle so I put it on here and um, then I put these little guys here and I kind of carried the butterfly theme through and on this page I made this belly band I actually painted here you can probably see the watercolors here that are the same shades as here just to sort of tie it all together and then this color as well really goes with this watery green and these colors here I kind of went with the same similar kind of shades and then I found this card and I thought it was so pretty it's not my watercolor it's actually turns out it's Holly Hobby but I thought it, I love the watercolory look and you know it goes well and then I added the butterfly here so it's empty inside but there's lots of space for writing you could you know really 
go to town on that one. And then on the back, I put some more paper so that you can also write there if you wanted to. And I covered up, you know, the copyright stuff and whatever. And then I put this little postage stamp down in the bottom corner there just to add another little feature. Over here, um, this this is from a, a plant book, a flower book that I found. I bought some some books at used bookstores, and I just cut out what I wanted. And a lot of them I actually cut out, but this one was just too fine, and you know they they're hard to not tear. And I loved that, but I loved these irises. And then I put, if you listen carefully, the silence is beautiful, and used purple around it to match here. And then I added this eye, which is also from the same book. And it was like a chapter heading or like at the start of the page. And on this page, I painted it green with a shimmery green paint and it's acrylic paint. And then I added this piece, which is from my French vintage paper collection. And then I put a tag here with this purple ribbon on it to, to tie it together. And then I added this on the back, which is from an old a planner agenda kind of thing and I thought it looked nice there and I know that a lot of people like to have lines to write on this is obviously pink going to town with pink again so what I did here is I started first by by stenciling the background and these pages I I painted them with gesso first so that kind of made a nice white background and then I stenciled using acrylic paint and a stencil. So the stencil on this page is different from the stencil on this page. And I think they turned out really, really well. And then I put, this is from another used book. Um, these are ones that I made myself using that master board. And then I bought stamps, I'll show you, this kind of stamp. And I just stamped my own and cut them out. And this is a pocket. So this piece goes in it. This is from my French vintage papers as well and it's it's also a place that you can do some writing for the journal and then here this is from Cicely Mary Barker's one of her books the little flower fairies so I left this loose so that this could also be written on and that just added a little rosebud but also because it's like this it's like this little little uh, boy is po just poking his head out I don't know is he an elf he's got pointy ears maybe he's an elf and then added this pink uh, water lily. I love the addition of the glitter. And on this side, I wanted to go for pockets and pockets and more pockets. So what I did was in this one, this is just a pocket and it's got a tiny envelope in it. And inside the tiny envelope is a tiny little card that you can write on. So you could write here and on the back. And then this little, little tiny card pops back into its tiny envelope which is also very pretty and then pops into this pocket over on this side this is also from my French vintage papers and it's it's open on this side I guess I could could glue it down but I thought it might be easier to leave it like that and I put one of these this is from my store as well it's okay to indulge now and then reward yourself which is a pretty good sentiment. And then this page, I took a page that was attached to the book, I painted it pink to cover up all the print and whatever, and I glued it down here. I cut, I tore it this way and glued it here. And then I put this on top to make another pocket. And this is a French vintage paper line too from my own store. And then I've got two pockets. So this one is also my French vintage paper. So I put this one in the bigger pocket and this one, which is um, just a tag I found online somewhere, in the front pocket. So it could actually fit more things in here, but I thought that was probably plenty. This page was fun. I got this stamp from, it was free from scrapbooking.com when I made an order from them. And if you watch that video, it has, um, well, you can see what trouble I had to make it work. But then once I got a good stamp impression, I used watercolor pencils just to color her in and then just went over her lightly with water and watercolor pencils are a total blast to use and so easy. And this is just a piece of paper from a little notebook that I 
bought at a dollar store so I just tore out the page and put it in here and then I, I put one of my journal this is one of my own artwork pieces too from the uh, flower and twig embellishments and and then I, I framed it with this pink rickrack and on this side I did pockets like layers of pockets again so I'll just pull all these things out and you can see the pockets so I've got the a postcard a postcard and then this label and the chapter name was the little miracle which I thought was kind of cute anyway I put this tiny B over top of the page number and then I, I had this little card that um, I wanted to fit in there and it because this isn't a very deep pocket I needed to find something that would really work and then I added these little pieces which are from a cookbook that I found so when it's tucked into its pocket it just covers up the little miracle and then you pull it out and you see that writing which I think is kind of cute and on this one this postcard with the birds on it I used uh, this postcard tag which is kind of a combination you know obviously someone designed this and I, I did some distressing front and back and so this one tucks in like that and then this one has a Bible verse on it peace I leave with you my peace I give unto you not as the world giveth give I unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid and that's John 14 27 I think which is um, Jesus speaking so that's a good word for today and in the bottom pocket I, I put these two this is a label from um, Perrier Champagne and this is another one of those labels with the this one with pansies on it which I thought the colors went all well together and these two this layout is another one that I, I stenciled and I used that iridescent green paint and a different stencil and I just um, did I yes I went over it first with gesso so you can see that the print isn't as like contrasting so it kind of softened it and then this is from a book of flowers um, this is just a little postcard and then I put this in it and just distressed the edges with a dark brown and you can write on the back of that over here this is just a piece of washi tape but I went over it with some acrylic paint and I just I just added some pink in here just because it was kind of dark red and I didn't really want that I wanted it to kind of go with the pinks on the page so I just painted over it so now you know you can do that and this one is um, one of my coin envelope ones as well so what I did was um, the flap I just glued down with the washi tape which I also painted on and then I just put a little piece of paper here that you can write on and it's decorated front and back and it's got and a little piece of French here and one of these little labels and then also it has a card in it which is a little bit trickier to get out and this is um, with the table and the grapes and everything is also one of those gift cards from my previous life basically but I added these from my flower and twig embellishments kit and and then on the back just some uh, vintage looking paper and a butterfly so there's a place to write on that and then it just tucks in here just leave it out a little bit like that on this page this was quite fun to do I've got again I I painted the pages with gesso so that you could see the print but it wouldn't shout at you and then I just tore a piece of the corner of scrapbooking paper and I used something like this to do the edges so that it would coordinate and then this is a piece from the borders of my in my store too I've got all these watercolor borders this is an antique postcard or letter I don't know whatever it is and this one is from Cicely Mary Barker's uh, flower fairies books look at these aren't they cute he's getting his knee fixed up and I put again some paper on the back so that you could write on it so that one goes in this pocket and then this is from a set of of like tickets that I got 
in a, a collection that I ordered. And I love this one with the little rabbit because I thought it kind of went with the, the whimsical look of things. And and then I put, um, I have stamps with Peter Rabbit and then I distressed the edges. So I thought that one would pop right in there. And then I used another one on this side. So this is a postcard and I, I put a, one of the other Flopsy Bunnies here, um, distressed the edges and then put a stamp of a carrot on the back. I should color that carrot. I like that idea. I'll just do that right now. I think this adds to it. Why not have a bit of color? Uh, otherwise, kind of colorless back piece. That's a nice little surprise then to have color there. And these little birds, which are chickadees and blue tits and a sparrow, I think, um, are from the country diary of an Edwardian lady. And on this page, I actually folded the page that was between these two and you can actually see I cut it off here but I folded what was left so it makes a nice firm pocket there and then inside it I put this which is a piece I got from a cookbook and this came from another old book once upon a time and then some more places to write there and then this is a little sparrow also from uh, Edith Holden's books. So that little set just goes like that. And then on this one, I went with purples and mauves and lilac. I put down an, an old document here, vintage document. And then this piece here with the uh, violets and this little postcard with the lilacs. And this is a little tag that I found somewhere and it also has, I don't know if those are violets or lilacs. It must be violets. Anyway, it goes nicely in there. And this is just a little stamp thing that I found somewhere else. This is from the um, Edith Holden book as well. When daisies red and violets blue and ladies smocks all silver white and cuckoo birds of yellow hue do paint the meadows with delight by William Shakespeare. And I just tucked this little ribbon in behind it because I thought it looked pretty. And on this page, I used another old document here. I put this um, vintage flower, but first I put down this piece, which I put, I um, attached like a pocket. And inside it is this purple rose with a beautiful frame. I actually put the rose on the frame and then I, it's lined on the back so you can write on that and this is another one of those labels that I created using my master board and uh, a stamp and then I just used one of those um, brads to attach the ribbon here and I used an orange one to, to kind of uh, coordinate with that color right there the one right behind her and sort of it, what she's got on here Probably I would have used a purple one had I had one, but I didn't. And on this page, I went with blues again, more turquoise actually. This is um, a piece of scrapbooking paper that has map and globe and things like that. And then I just used a piece of vellum here that I stamped on uh, with brown, a couple of these bright turquoise butterflies and this little tag. and then. The tag that I put in it is similar colors. I really love those. And and then I I cut out one in these blues so you can write on on anything here that you want to obviously and added another butterfly there and then put the turquoise ring around it and used a piece of uh, hemp twine here. This also is uh, an old document of some kind but it had the turquoise in it. I had this set of big of butterflies in all sizes and I thought this went really well and it ties in here too with these and then this is just a um, stamping in brown at the top of the page but I made this into a pocket and on the inside I put this piece which is also the same color family and it's got uh, tea dyed paper on the back so that just tucks in there nicely And second to last, I just did this one um, a few days ago, 
I started out with this label, which is fresh lemonade and has lemons on it. And I distressed the edges. And then I uh, put this in. I wanted a theme of sort of flowers and fruits. And I found this this label. It says Au fruit glacé d'Auvergne, and which means glazed fruits of Auvergne or frozen fruits. I don't know which they would use, but I, I distressed the edges and left this as a little card that you could write on and tucked it in this way. And I didn't cover up the print at all because the whole, all the ephemera basically covers it up. And then this is a Wenatchee Valley apple label, um, which is, I think is a really cool one. I love the colors again. To bring out the yellow, I wanted to put yellow and red in these pages and just um, draw, like, start. I kind of started with a color family, which is how I've done most of the pages. And then I found this from the cookbook with uh, the sunflowers. So it goes so nicely with sort of harvest and abundance and everything. And then this is a pocket too. And this is one of my own uh, little watercolors. And these also are on my website. And you can see the peaches in here. So I thought, these greens tie together so nicely and then the peaches are kind of yellow and peachy color and they they also kind of look good with that. I love just how the colors all went together. On this page I put another one of Edith Holden's little rhymes and it's this beautiful cactus which was from that, that cookbook as well. I love the terracotta and the geraniums and this similar green to here. And then I found these lemons were also from the same book, so I had them all cut out and I just sort of tumbled them down here. But I left the rest empty so that you could write in here. I love the look of like a sketchbook with, with writing and art or an art journal where there's writing with art around it. So I tried to leave spaces like this where you could write around things and then it gives you that look which is just gorgeous. And here's the last page. This one was um, a piece of scrapbook paper or paper that I found somewhere. I loved the the art on it and these birds. I don't know what kind they are, but they're sure pretty. And then I found this in a magazine. Um, Blanche Hall says, apparently she was an Edwardian, or I guess it should be Edwardian or Victorian actress, apparently. Um, and I left it as just kind of a tuck spot and then I put one of those tickets in it here. This one had the dragonfly on the top. And then I colored it in with a marker that actually went through the paper. So I covered that part up with this little label and I think it just really works well, especially the color. I actually went around the edges with a turquoise. It was more blue, but I, I used like this color around the edge to make it more of a turquoise color. Just shows you what you can do, some ideas. You can change the color of things with paint and and stamps and distressing and whatever. And then this piece is uh, from the country diary of an Edwardian lady. And it just fit perfectly on the page. And it had this dragonfly. And I actually hadn't planned to do the dragonfly to match the dragonfly. But when I started doing this page, I went, oh, hey, look, this works. This one was quite a green one. So I went over it with a blue marker so that it would... It would um, actually sort of tie in with the color theme a little bit better and kind of go with this one. So there's the book. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I wouldn't hesitate to do another one because it was just so much fun. I do have to kind of tie it together, as I mentioned at the start, because it got kind of fat, but there's not a problem with that. I mean, why not? So I tighten it right up like this and then tie it in this big floppy bow. And if you're looking for fabric, I know Sari Silk is pretty popular for tying things, but Rayon Chalice has, has such a, a lovely floppiness to it. And it's soft and it's easy to tear, easy to fray. And it wrinkles, of course, but I think that adds to the charm. There's my project. i am finally finished it. I've done lots of videos on the different pages and I've had so much fun doing it. I suggest you take some time and go back and look at some of those videos of how the pages came about and I think you'll enjoy it. Before you go, I would love it if you would 
subscribe to my channel and click the little bell to be notified when I have videos and click the like button too. And I'd love it if you'd leave a comment because it just, it makes my day. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.